All right, Wolfpack. Um, so thank you guys for joining me this evening for some training because we got to feed our brains, right? Um, so a lot of you guys have been asking me to teach me how to make pictures. Tiffany especially, teach me how to make pictures. So you asked, I shall give. That's just the way it works. Um, so a little bit about what I'm going to teach you guys tonight. Um, I'm going to teach you guys kind of the very basics. And I'll tell you, everything that I've ever learned how to do on a computer, I have taught myself. Okay. So if I can teach myself how to do something, you guys can teach yourself too, right? It's, it's just a matter of practicing. Um, the one thing I want you guys to know is that you're not going to mess anything up. Okay. So even if you get on here and you dabble and you play around a little bit, you're never going to break anything by trying, okay? So um, why do we want to teach you guys how to make pictures? First of all, that is really, really important. Um, so a lot of us are doing virtual parties, right? 90, I would say 90% of the Wolf Pack now is virtual. And so, you know, you guys know that I make the team outlines for you guys or assist because some of you guys take them and mold them to yourselves. And that's really, 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 really times 10, what we want you guys to get to the point that you're doing is really taking the outline and putting your personal stamp on it, right? Taking yourself and making yourself the story of Pampered Chef instead of it just being home office people. You know, the more that you can connect yourself to a virtual business, the better your results are going to be because people need to see you. They don't need to see those, you know, home office people that are getting their pictures taken. They don't need to see like prop kids and pictures. They want to see you and your family. Okay. That's what's going to get them excited. That's what's going to connect you with them. And we were just kind of talking a little bit about um, some changes we're going to be making here going forward with virtual parties. Um, and so you're going to see some of the graphics that I make. I am goofy. Okay. Let's just tell you, I am a goofball. Like, but that's what people expect from me. Okay. That's how I've marketed myself. That is my personal brand in the kitchen, okay? So I want you guys to think about, if you had to think about what your personal brand is, being a Pampered Chef consultant, what would that look like, okay? For each of us, it's going to be different. So for some of us, we're more serious. For some of us, like me, you're a little bit goofy. Um, for some of us, we've never even cooked. You know, maybe we've only microwaved, so like tools could be very intimidating or scary. Um, but what would your personal brand look like? You know, what level of cook are you? Cause you need to know that before you can really brand yourself, right? You need to know, okay, so Kim, I have a pretty good picture of what your brand is. You're very involved with your girls, right? You're in the kitchen, you're sharing that experience with them. And I can just look at your photographs and I can tell that. And that's really what your customers connect to, okay? So the more that you can take a snapshot of your everyday life and put it into your virtual parties, that's where you're going to find success, my friends, okay? Yes, it's okay to use Pampered Chef stock photos, but I will tell you that if you just spend, you know, 30 minutes a week, okay, taking some photos in your kitchen with some products as you're cooking dinner, because you guys cook, right? We all cook dinner anyway, or we microwave dinner anyway. And so while you're doing that, why wouldn't you just snap a couple pictures, right? Snap a couple pictures. So first let's start there. So how do you even begin this journey with making photos? Well, everybody's got one of these, right? Everybody's got a phone. Okay. You don't need to have a fancy camera. You don't need to have high tech lenses on your phone or, or, you know, on your camera. I simply just take my phone and as I'm making dinner or the kids are in the kitchen helping me, I snap pictures. So tonight before we got on here, I was snapping some pictures. Okay. So I just went through, look, I'm taking all these, you guys will see them here in a couple minutes. I'm taking all these <coughs> pictures with my son and with my daughter, with, you know, with one portion of my kitchen counter very clean, you know, the rest of it's not clean. Um, but that one section you want to be pristine when you're taking pictures, you want it to look like a kind of semi-professional background. And then, so how do I get this from here to my computer? 
What do you guys think you would do? Save it to your laptop. Yeah, and so what I do is I take my pictures on my phone and I'll just send them all to myself in Messenger, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do right now because literally I'm walking guys through this process step by step. So I'm just gonna look up Becky Wolfner. And then I'm gonna send all these pictures to myself. Okay, so now that I've sent them to myself, let me share my screen so you guys can see what I'm gonna do. Because again, I, I want this to be a learning experience and a very visual experience for you all. So you guys can see my screen, right? Everybody can see my Facebook screen? Okay, so all I'm doing is going to Messenger and I'm pulling up where I just sent them to myself, okay? And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click it. And stick it. What? <laughs> Click it and Get. stick it. <laughs> oh, Lord, girl. And then I'm going to save image to downloads. Okay. I have a Mac computer. For those of you guys that are on just a regular Windows computer, you're going to right click and save it to your computer. Okay. And then I'm going to go to my next picture. Not that way, the wrong way. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, ah. Why am I going backwards? What the heck? Yeah. All right. So save to download. I already do that one look i'm going all kinds of wonky what in the world is going on <laughs> look see i'm trying to teach all technology and i can't even mess with my own computer tonight ain't that great just look through your pictures real quick and make sure we don't see anything <laughs> oh, <laughs> those are further up the camera roll wink, wink. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now that I have these computers, they're saved on my camera or on my phone. Oh, God, yeah. Pictures on your computer. Look, this is why you shouldn't drink coffee at 8.15 at night. I'm just <laughs> Okay. So we're going to go to www.canva.com. Canva is the program that I use. Um, I know some people have told me in the past that they find it very difficult to use. And it's definitely one of those programs that you just need to get in there and play around with it. Okay. Now I will tell you, I do have the paid version, but only because I use it literally every single day of my life. Um, but for a long time, I only had the free version of it guys. Okay. There is tons and tons and tons of stuff you can do with just the free version of it. Um, basically what I get extra is just extra pictures right? Extra little um, clip art pictures for free by having the expanded um, version of it. Okay. So what are we going to do with these pictures? So first we need to decide, okay, so am I making a graphic to use in my virtual party or am I making a banner to use in my virtual party? Okay. So let's go with, I'm going to teach you how to do both. Okay. So we're going to make a banner first. Very cool. What do you guys think from looking at here? What would I click to make a banner? Facebook cover. Facebook cover? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, I'm extremely sarcastic. Yes. Uh, all right, so can you guys still see my screen okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, you see where it has the banner, the empty banner in there? Perfect. Okay, so where do you start now? Oh my gosh, this seems so intimidating. Ah! Okay, so first thing you want to do is if you're going to be working with new images that you just uploaded to your computer, they're not in here in Canva yet, okay? We're going to go over here to the side where it says uploads. You're going to click that. Now you can see once I upload a graphic into Canva, it keeps everything in here for me, okay? Which is really nice because I have all of these images that are saved through Canva and not any, it's no longer on my computer. Okay. So you can save some storage space. So what am I going to do now? See this can blue box? Organize says, them? What's that? Can you organize them in, in Canva? You can, but that's another, another okay. lesson. Okay. Well, <laughs> no, I didn't know if you could do a file for just like products or yeah, you images can. that you already created, so forth. Yeah. That'll be Canva training number two. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna click upload an image. 
And so it's going to bring up all of my pictures that I've recently uploaded. Okay. So we're going to take the pictures that I just did and click choose. And then I'm going to do the other two. Where's my other one? There should be one. I don't one think you downloaded it. Yeah, I don't You're think so either because I was being. Story. Oh, there it is. No, there it is right there. Oh, love you and Lily. Uh, what, baby? Not right now, sweetie. I'm working right now, okay? Thank you, though. Okay, so we're going to make a banner. Um, and again, I'm not making this banner because this is how I want it to be made. I'm making it more to show you guys how to do this. Actually, we'll just, let's make a different banner. Let's do something different. But we went ahead and uploaded the pictures. We'll use those in a Facebook post here in a little while. Okay, so let's say we want to make a banner for our new consultant kit, okay? So you guys will see I have all three images already saved in here with the new consultant kit. Very, very simple. You see how you do this? You click it. Guess what happens? It pops over onto your banner, okay? Very simple. Now you guys see how when I slide this around, you see how that grid pops up? Okay, you want to keep your pictures inside that grid. And why do you want to keep them inside the grid? Because the rest of this is going to be trimmed off by Facebook. So whatever is inside that grid is going to be inside of your banner on Facebook. Make sense? Okay, so let's click our next one. And again, there we go, we've got our next one. And we'll put our third one and we'll just slide this guy over here to the side. And now, let me move this over. <clears throat> okay, so once you've got your pictures in there, now we wanna add some fun background, right? We wanna add some pop of color in the background. And I normally, I've got a pretty good eye when it comes to graphic marketing, imaging, that kind of thing. Um, so I normally take whatever the least presented color in the photo is as the background. Does that make sense? So that it really stands out. So like if you're looking through here, you see how there's a little hint of blue in each one of these or that orange, that's really gonna stand out. So we're gonna go over here to background. Now you do have lots and lots of options here. Like you can do, it'll whatever you've recently worked with, it's gonna be up here at the top for you. So if you have colors that you typically use, they're all stored right up there at the top, just by your habits, okay? Um, I like to work with gradients sometimes because it's just kind of a, you know, a kind of collection of colors together. So if I'm looking at this one, and I'm looking for something blue, I would probably click this one right here because it kind of matches up the best. When you click that, now it goes to your background. Okay, so super simple, right? We're literally one clicking everything. Okay, so here comes the fun part. So I want to tell you going back to what we started off talking about with branding yourself, right? What are you one doing? One of you guys. I challenge each one of you guys to take one really good picture of yourself, okay? One really good picture of yourself in the kitchen, one, one really good picture of you and your family together, um, one really good picture that you can use throughout your imaging of yourself, okay? Again, going back to that story of, of your brand, of your personal brand. All right, so let's go back to here. Okay. And so we're going to go back to my upload section again, where all those pictures are stored and we're going to find, I just uploaded this one today. Okay. So this was from Conference, and it's a really good picture of myself. I'm happy with it for some strange reason, but I don't want this big, like squarish kind of whatever it is, rectangle, whatever shape. Yeah. So we're gonna go over here to elements. Yes, I'm a very intelligent this evening. I'm just telling you. Um, so we're gonna go to elements. So what can you find in elements? You can find tons and tons and tons of things in elements. Um, what I'm gonna show you first is how to take that picture that I just put there myself and how to make a frame of it, okay? 
So let's say I want this to be in a circle shape because I've got all these squares, right? Let's go with some kind of different shape. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click frames. And if you did this over here on the side where it says all, it'll pop up a lot more frames that you can choose from. So let's go with this one right here. So we're gonna click, that, okay? That opens your frame. And now what you do is you take this picture, you hold down on it, and you slide over to that frame. Now you guys see how it put me into a circle? And it cut out all that background for me. And now what I can do is I can take this and drag on the sides to make it smaller so that I can just kind of plop it on here somewhere. TV and if I wanted to, I could take and I could add a color to the outside if I wanted to. Again, so just so that this picture kind of stands out on its own, okay? So simples, anyone have questions about that? Nope. Okay. I'm so good. Let's say you don't really like what you did. How do you get rid of it? If you click this, you guys see how this box opens up up here, right? <clears throat> if you click the trash can, you can delete the frame and then start over if you don't like it, okay? Not really a big deal. So let's say I don't want this picture to be like in your face visible, but I want it to be there so nobody steals my images. So you click your image again, which opens up this bar in the top and you guys see where it says transparency. If you click that and you slide this to the side, you guys see how it dims? And so now you're there, but it's not like super in your face but nobody's gonna steal this because they would literally have to crop out half of the image in order to get rid of you. Okay, but for me, I would rather just keep it, you know, myself there. Okay, so back to elements. Once you've got your frame, if you wanna add a frame, and again, I'm just showing you guys a variety of different things that you can do. So let's say we wanted to add, I don't know, fun arrow to it. I love this little guy, he's so cute. So we're gonna take this arrow, and again, I don't want it that big, right? So we're just gonna drag our sides down, which will make it smaller. And let's say I'm really trying to point out this big kit over here, okay? So maybe we need to move this over. My turn? Here. And maybe we wanna take this arrow, but I really want that tip to be pointing forever. at this kit. So if you come up here to flip, and you flip it horizontally. Now you've got the arrow on the other side, but I want it to look like it's pointing down. So I'm gonna flip it vertically. You can tell I play a lot, right? <laughs> All right, if you wanna move the direction, you guys see this little button right here on the bottom of it? This lets you kind of maneuver it, okay? So you can kind of slide it if you wanted to. And then again, maybe I want this to be the same color as my frame over here. So now we're gonna take change the color. Is that something on the right? I mean on the left. So what kind of caption would we put with that? What would you guys put? Would you add any words to it? Would you add any verbiage to it? Everybody's like, Becky, show me the way. <laughs> I would probably put something like, which kit fits you? Or something along that line so at the bottom of it. Yeah, you could definitely do that. You could definitely, you know, do a, a little something on the bottom. Um, if you have a lot of people that have been looking for a way to get the quick cooker, right? And we're now pointing out that the quick cooker is in this one kit. Maybe you point out, say, hey, guys, look at this or you know, just something fun to like, literally point them to that product and showing them that's, that's in that kit. Or maybe you say all this for just you know, $259. One you know? thing too is, um, and I don't know if you guys that didn't go to conference, if you noticed this, but with the kit that's in the middle, that's your starter kit for $99. Um, they build on each other. So then the middle kit, there's 
what is it, 11? Okay, let's, let's flip flop that. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. That, but, um, so you have your starter kit with those products that's still pictured in the middle. And then the picture that's on the left side is the second picture or the second picture is the middle kit so they build on each other so you could also say and wait oh, there's I was right tiffany uh -uh. I was right this is the 99 dollar kit yeah right? that's what i said that's the middle picture yeah but i had them the other way i no, had them the way i had no, them the way that i wanted no you didn't yes i did did not <laughs> you did it and you could go back and replay it <laughs> I will too. You know I will. I know you will. <laughs> but the you rest of say, these ladies know. You can say on this, like, if you do it the opposite way, you can always say, like, and wait, there's more. Yeah. You know? There's there's a lot of, you know, what I tell you guys is to be created, creative, right? You're only limited by your own imagination when you're making graphics. And what you want is to stand out, right? You want people to take notice of what you want them to take notice of. And so for me, I really want to point out that, hey guys, this quick cooker's over here in this big kit and it's only $259. You know, literally you're paying $240 for the quick cooker by itself. You're getting all this other stuff, you know, as a bonus pretty much. You know? um, all right, so let's add some words to this picture. So you're going to click the little box, hey, that says text. Wow. Who to thunk it, right? So <laughs> text. <laughs> which will pull up lots of options again for you. Um, I'm a pretty like instant gratification kind of girl. I'm not messing with most of the stuff down here because there's a lot of editing that you have to do throughout it. So what I normally do is I just click add a heading. Very simple. It will pop up a text box for you. Okay, and then if you take your text box and you double click inside your text box, sometimes it works. No, I'm just joking. And then you just backspace it to get rid of that add a heading and now you can type whatever you want into the text box. So I'm just gonna type, check this out. Okay, so it's gonna be too big for this picture if you're looking at it. And so we need to resize the lettering, right? So what are you gonna do? You're going to come up here to your sizing and you're just going to figure out which, you know, which uh, size fits better for where you're trying to put it at. And then I have my favorite fonts that I use all the time and you'll quickly figure out again, it kind of goes with your style. You'll figure out what, what fonts you like. Um, so what you're going to do to change the font that you're using is again, Every time you click off, you guys see how the top bar disappears, right? So when you click what you're trying to change, that bar opens up at the top. So here's your font selector. And I've actually uploaded extra fonts for free into Canva. Um, because again, if you go on to Google and you find, if you put in your search bar free fonts, you can actually download free fonts and then upload them into Canva when using them, okay? That's again, that's like lesson number three. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use Miss Smarty Pants. Go figure that Becky's favorite font would be called Miss Smarty Pants. <laughs> Imagine that. But I really want to change the color because again, this kind of blends in with the background. So let's go back to that pink. And then let's just kind of slide this a little bit closer to the arrow. And now look what we've done. We've made a banner to use, right? Very simple, very easy. Um, again, it took me literally, what, four or five minutes, probably if I weren't talking through and kind of teaching you guys how to do it. Very simple. So how do you save this? Well, here's what I do. Again, going back to Becky's OCD, up <laughs> here at the top, whatever you put in this little box will be how it's saved into your computer. Okay, what the title's gonna be. So I would do, so because I've been making a lot more personalized graphics, and so I would maybe do kit, banner, and then do me. 
Okay. And so that when I'm searching for stuff, it's easy for me to find. Okay. And then all you're going to do is click download. Um, I, you can either do a JPEG if you want to, or a ping. I would say do ping. Um, it's still a, a high quality dim, uh, image, but it saves less. It takes less space on your computer. Okay. Formatting wise. So either a, a ping or JPEG are going to be your better options. But again, depending on your computer, some you know, computers require a different format. So this is where you can kind of select the which format you want to use for your computer. Um, so once you click that and you click download, then it automatically saves it to your computer. So it's preparing my design. And let me stop and start the share. And then I'll show you guys what the final image looks like. And there you go. Super simple, right? Nothing hard, nothing complicated. Okay, so any questions on making a banner? Nope. Can no? you do this from your phone? Okay, so Canva does have an app. I can't stand it. I don't like it. It's very complicated to use in the app, app version. Um, so when I'm working on Canva, I work on the computer, um, which I use Canva for most all of my graphics anymore um, because with having the paid subscription, I don't have to have that little Canva logo on the bottom of it. Or, you know, if you're using apps, most of the time you're gonna have like PicMonkey or Pic Collage or whatever, they brand themselves onto your image. Although you can be sneaky and kind of crop it out if you're smart about how you lay your graphics out. Um, but the paid version doesn't require you to have their watermark on your picture, okay? Um, if I'm using, if, if you're looking for a app to do photos, um, Pic Collage is my favorite that I use. It's the one that I use most of the time. It's very, very user-friendly, um, but it just doesn't let you do as much as what you can do on Canva. But yeah, I can't stand the app of Canva. Ooh. It gives me like, I want to punch something when I'm using it. Heather, have you used it too, I'm assuming? Yeah. It's, it's just, it's not user friendly at all. I hate it. It's horrible. It is. Okay. So let's go back to um, doing just a regular post. Okay, so once you've done here, okay, what you can do is you can click X up here at the top. So you guys can see that your regular home page of Canva is open, but when, you're, when you select the type of um, graphic you're gonna make, it opens a separate window up, which is over here. So all you need to do is click X. And what's really nice about this is that as you're making images, it automatically stores it in here also for you, okay? So it'll, be, it'll take it a little while to upload into this section. Um, but here in a little while, it'll be in here. So every graphic that I make, what's nice is that if you're making something, um, you can go back in and edit it afterwards. So a lot of times, you know, again, with my hosts, I try to be very personalized with them, especially with my cooking shows. And so I will make a picture for them with their um, information for their party for them to text out to their friends to invite them to their party. And what's nice is if you make one, then all you have to do is go back in and edit it for each party, right? The, the base is already there for you and you're just changing the verbiage of it and done. So it literally takes 30 seconds, okay? So that's why I say you kind of come in here and play around a little bit, figure out what you want, um, and then it's really easy from that point. Okay, so let's go back to create a design and we're gonna go down to Facebook post. Becky. Yes. Can I have that? Um... The one that was the August guest special with apples. Yeah, you like my little apple picture? I yeah. love it. Yeah. I just made that today. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was making a lot of images today. Oh my gosh. As you guys could already tell, like I blew up the, our groups today a little bit. Sorry guys, love you. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, all right, back to what we we're gonna do. So now you guys see the shape is different, right? Just a regular square. Um, we're going to go back to uploads because we're going to work with the pictures that we already sent. So remember, we took the pictures from our phone, we uploaded them through Messenger, we went to Facebook, and we saved them onto our computer. 
And then we came in here and we clicked upload an image and uploaded the images that we had from our phone. Very easy. All right, so we have four, pi three pictures we're gonna use because the other one's for something different. And yes, me and my kids are dorks together. I love my babies. Look, that's her thumb. She's giving y'all a thumbs up, isn't that great? So again, you can kind of lay these out however you want. Look, Isaac in this cracks me up, just cracks me up. That's all I can say. Um, and then you can crop them down or up, you know, as much as you want. So like if you lift this picture, you can crop the size and then you can shrink it down if you want. So again, like this one, I'll probably just shrink down. Like I want this one to be the predominant picture over here. Where, let me move my picture bar out of the way. There we go. I couldn't see for a second. So again, you know, you just kind of get in here and play around with it. Um, you'll figure out like what you're, what you're looking for. I'm probably going to throw him into a shape. So we'll go over here to elements. And let's, let's put him in here. So again, you take the frame and then you slide the picture into the frame. And then we can make this smaller. And again, this is probably not going to be my finished image, but that's okay. You guys get the story, right? Like it's, You get the message, very, very easy to do. Yeah, this definitely won't be my, my um, finished version of this, but that's okay. All right, so let's pick a background. So again, let's go into our all that we've already used before and probably gonna go darker with this one, but I'm not sure. Y'all get the message. You just kind of play around with it until you find something you like. Um, And, and my brain goes a thousand directions anyway at all times, so. And you put like, do they have like stickers of like pretzels and stuff? That's what I was gonna show you, yeah. Yeah, like I said, I'm just messing around with this one. Okay, so if you wanna add, you know, some fun little somethings to it, if you go back into elements, okay? And let's say you are looking for pretzels, right? So type in pretzels. For you guys, I would recommend right here, you see where it says free? If you click that, that's gonna pull up any free elements that are available for you guys. <laughs> so now you can grab any one of these pictures that are free for you guys to use. So literally, again, it's one click. So you click, it pops up your image, you can shrink it down as much as you want to. Is that one a banner? the second row. Yeah. Well, it would be, um, so yeah, it would be like this. And then all you would need to do is like take it and extend it out, Tiffany, if you wanted to use it. Right. A little too much, but that's yeah. what I thought. Huh? I said, that's what I thought, but that's a little too much. <laughs> well, but there's, like I said, you can take this and play around with it though. Okay, so here, let me do this real quick. Let's just work with that. Let's delete this pretzel we just added. Let's move this over. Because what you can do now is you can take that, get it to where you want it, okay? And then come up here to position and put it into the background. And then you're gonna take your pictures. Actually, I did it backwards, but that's okay. You're gonna take these pictures and you're gonna position them forward. It should be good now. So now you've got your, uh, uh, come on you. There you go. We'll pull those forward. So now you got your pretzel background. You know, again, you can kind of just play with it size wise, whatever. Again, this will definitely not be my finished image, but that's okay, you guys get the hint. <laughs> Very, very simple. Again, you play around with it till you're happy with it. You add some verbiage if you want words in there. Um, you know, however you want to do it. Okay. 
And then all you're going to do again, once you're happy with your image is you're just going to go right up here. You're going to title it up here at the top. So pretzel pick. And then you're just going to click your save button down here at the bottom. Okay. Um, so let's say you wanted to, you know, you could even take this Tiffany, this background and you could lighten it you know, so that it's not so in your face if you wanted to. I mean, like I said, there's a million different things. Um, somebody asked me yesterday, so, you know, I made that picture with the kids, but I had the catalog and I blurred that out so you couldn't see what was the cover photo of the catalog. Did you guys see that picture that I made yesterday? Okay, I'll show you it in a second. Um, so what you could do with this picture, if you're, you know, hinting at pretzels, what you could do is take this picture if you go up here, because you can change the coloration of all of your pictures too once they're here. So if you click the filter, you're gonna have lots of different um, filters that you can play with, okay? Or you can also adjust um, the contrast and brightness, but you can take that photo and you can blur it. Ah! I did see that. That was the one with the, the new catalog. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so that's that's how I made that photo with um, Lily and Isaac yesterday. I had them holding the catalog up like they were looking at the cover of it, and I snapped a picture, but then I have a picture of the catalog off to the side, and I blurred it so people couldn't see it. So, yeah, if you're trying to hide something, then you can just blur it. Um, and there's, again, there's, you know, lots of different things that you can kind of do with it. You can make it super blurry or whatever. You can change the coloration of it. You can, you know, just sharpen it up as much as you want. Um, you can crop your pictures again, right here at the top. When you click anything, it's going to open that bar at the top. So if you wanted to crop this picture down, you can crop it that way. Um, and then also like sometimes, like if I wanted to change the direction of where Lily's hand was, if I choose this picture and I click flip horizontal, you guys see how it goes now, right? <laughs> I've seen her wave it in the background. So I do that a lot of times too with my pictures. Okay, so just real fun, okay? Um, let me show you some other things that I like to do with images. Again, for virtual parties, um, let's get rid of this picture. And let's create a new design. and a Facebook post. So, you know, one of the things I love, you guys have already can tell that I'm really kind of goofy and silly. Yes, 24 hours a day, just to ask those that were at conference with me. This is Becky every day of her life. So what I did before I left, um, I took pictures of myself and I have a sheet pan here, okay? And I literally just snapped a picture with the sheet pan in front because now what I can do with that picture is something super fun. Um, let me get rid of this and I'll show you what I've already done with it. So see how I did that? So I literally just took the picture of myself with this blank, you know, little spot that I can add words to. And this was something that I used in my parties last month. So again, you know, I can change this because I've stored it, right? It's stored in here. I can just go back and I can change up verbiage on things. Um, another one that I did, let me find it, is I took a picture of myself with our skillet. So same thing. I can add whatever words I want in this negative space here, right? So it's, it's really, you know, you're only as limited you know, by your imagination, for sure. Um, what else have I done? I do all kinds of like random, like pointing pictures, because if I want to add, you know, myself to something, and again, I'm trying to point out something, then, you know, I can kind of put this picture under a product if I'm trying to point it out. Um, like countdown, if you're doing countdown pictures, snap some pictures of like, if you're, you know, counting down the days left of your party, you know, three, two, one, you know, you can just do personalized countdown pictures. 
Yes, with all the goofy faces intact. Um, what else can you do? Again, pointing. My kids are always in the kitchen. We're always cooking together. So, um, one of the things I love, you guys have seen in our outlines that I do, is I make poll posts all the time. Okay. So, again, it's really simple as figuring out, um, you know, what question, like what question do you need answered from your customers, right? And then all you're doing is you're taking very simple that you would add your background color. Let's go with the blue background. We're gonna find a picture to kind of park at the top of it. So I can kind of stretch this picture out if I wanted to. And then I can crop it down. You know, and then I can put it up here and I can make it smaller if I need to. Who is making noise over there? And then down here at the bottom, you can add your text. So maybe you say, what's your favorite flavor of Popsicle? You know, um, this is a good way to get interaction in your parties. You know, you're showing, so we were talking, me and Tiffany and Carolyn were talking a lot about this earlier, um, about soft selling, okay? So we don't always have to be so in your face with posts in our parties. A lot of times we post like, you know, the description of the product in a party. And, you know, we give them a link to go watch a video of, of a product. That's really hard selling, right? That's really in your face, like buy me here. Here's a product, watch this amazing video, now buy it. Um, when you're doing something like this and you're asking questions, number one, you're getting engagement from people when you're asking questions because it gives them a chance to talk about themselves and their families. But at the same time, don't you think that they're taking an eye, they're, they're actually looking at this product that's in the picture too? So there's a way to be engaging, but there's also a way to sell products, but not so direct with it. So, you know, um, what you're gonna see in the next outline, um, let me come back to this for a second. What you're gonna see in the next outline that we're getting ready to work on is some changes. We're kind of gonna reboot the outline a little bit um, and really make it a lot more engaging. But what I'm challenging each of you guys to do is to really start taking your own personalized pictures, you know, and adding your flair to your outline, okay? So yes, take the outline that we do and mold it to yourself, okay? Instead of it just being, a blank template that you use all the time. I mean, if you're new, that's different, right? You're, when you're new, you don't know how to do these things, but some of you guys have been with me a while. Tiffany, <coughs> Heather, <coughs> but Heather I know makes graphics. But some of you guys have been around a while, and so now it's time to kind of go to that next step with virtual parties, you know? Um, Kim is brand new with us, but I know she's making her own stuff. Like, I know, Kim's taking pictures because I see pictures with Kim all the time on, on Facebook. So, <laughs> so I know she's doing it. Um, but, you know, just tell your own story. You know, tell your story in the kitchen and, you know, with your, whether it's with your family or with your dogs. You know, people love dogs. Like, you guys can have my dog if you want her. But people love animals too, you know. So maybe instead of even just talking about Pampered Chef, like take a cute little selfie with your dog and say, oh my gosh, who's a dog owner? Post a selfie down below of your dog. Who doesn't like to show their dog, right? And what does that do? Number one, it gets a conversation going, right? Because remember, virtual parties are all about conversations. The more you can get interaction in your party, the algorithms on Facebook spike. So you're more likely to be seen when you have the algorithms going in the party group okay if you have a so some of you guys have heard me compare an algorithm to a heartbeat before and that's really what an algorithm is okay so when you start a brand new party group your algorithm is flatlined okay so once you start getting interaction in your party group you kind of get that first spike of the heartbeat okay and your job as being the consultant is to keep a steady heartbeat going because when you lose engagement in your parties you're flatlined okay and when you're flatlined you're not as visible to those people within that party group does that make sense to you guys 
So they don't, you're not, um, you know, we all have notifications, like we all have the setting that you can click on all, but the more, um, the more interaction and engagement that's in a party, the more people are talking and clicking like and dropping hearts and interacting, they're going to be, you're going to show up in their notifications. Whereas if that group is a solid flat line, even if they have all of the notifications set to all, Facebook still holds you down, right? They're still like, oh, nobody's really having fun in this group. So they don't really need to see these posts. So the more you can get that heartbeat going in your party groups, and that's what it's all about, guys. It's really about having posts that get people to talk. So do product posts generally get people talking? Normally not. You know, if you're just saying, oh, here's my pizza stone. I love a pizza stone. What do you like to do with a pizza stone? You might get a couple comments. But when you give people a chance to brag on themselves or show their kids off or, you know, who doesn't like to talk about themselves? I mean, seriously, come on. We all like to talk about something of ourselves. So the more that you can get people, right? The more you can get people talking, the better off you're going to be in your parties. And so that's what you guys have to think about is being very intentional with what you're posting. And that's really what we're getting ready to do with this next outline is kind of um, show you guys a little bit more of an intentional party, but we need you guys to also put your spin on it. Okay. And it's not just because, you know, we need you to do that. It's because you should do that. You know, you should let people connect with you. Okay. Um, the other thing that we wanted to tell you guys is we actually are going to, uh, shorten our parties and we're going to start running our parties Thursday through Monday. Okay. So Thursday will still be pretty much an engagement day. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday are going to be kind of the party days with a closing date of Monday. Um, we're kind of, you know, home office has kind of told us over the years that really five days is the preferred time timeline of customers five to seven. Um, we, you know, for a long time have done our parties Friday through Friday. Then we changed it to Thursday through Friday. And what I've seen and Tiffany seen and lots of, you know, other people have seen is that people want a shorter party again. We're back to really wanting it to be condensed down. Um, so if you guys do have ideas um, of, you know, different things that we can try, different things you've tried in your parties that are successful with getting engagement. I would love for you guys to share that with us. Um, you know, we're talking about like doing a new scavenger hunt throughout the party. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Cause yeah, I think it's, that's, I think that's just going to be a lot of fun. Um, so anyway, who has questions on Canva? Anyone have questions? Yes. How do you download it? It's a website. Yeah, I know, and I, I'm, I'm not finding it. www.canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. Yeah, that's what I typed in. Let me see. Yeah, you don't have to download anything. It's just a website. Anybody else have questions? Did you guys learn something? Are you still intimidated by Canva? Think you'll give it a try? Yeah? Okay. And if you get stuck, let me know. You know, I'm, I, I'm just a message away. <laughs> and, and everybody knows, like, I, I will answer you back, I promise. It may take some time, depending on what life has got going on at the second, but I will answer you back. Can't, Tiffany, did you find it? Mm -mm, it's not pulling up. Let me fix my hair. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, it's not pulling up. I typed it in and it's, it's giving me easy canvas, prints, and... Are you in your, in your search bar? Yeah. I typed in www.canva.com and... Yeah, I'm with, with Heather. Just go, if you go to Google and, and um, put in the search bar Canva, what does it do? Her computer like needs hit with a sledgehammer or something. Yeah, are you on Safari? Or are you on Google Chrome? Or what browser are you using? Chrome. 
That's really weird. I found it. Yay for Roxanne! <laughs> Just saying, Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't, I mean, it's, plus there's a charge for it too. There's no free. No, there's a free version of it. Not on this one, is not. No, you were not on the right one. Mm -hmm. Here, let me stop this recording for a second. <laughs> <laughs>